Hey, welcome back to our February Black History Month uh, Black and White special. I'm Roller Coaster Rider. I'm Kay. And I need to stop listening to movies that Spill suggests because they suggest. Because listening to an old Let's Do This podcast around the time Tropic Thunder came out, they mentioned this movie, Watermelon Man. And. Ugh. That's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> That's putting it. Were you paid to be that positive? Okay, here's what it basically consists of. It's a, it's a, black man in white face. Hey, coaster kitty. They can see. See. And. He's just pretty much a he's just pretty much a bigot. He just he just comes across as a huge jerk and like very outspoken. Opinionated, like no one likes him. Insert celebrity that you think acts like this now. I agree. He she is bad. Well, anyway, I thought it was Wesley Snipes. I mean he in nineteen seventy. He looked it. Her it sounded like him. Maybe show the back. Okay. It just... Yeah. I think he looks more like Chiwetto Ejiofor, but that's me. So, um... Uh, middle class? Middle class upbringing. He has a wife and two kids. Somewhere in the United States. He sells um, insurance. Yeah, Homeowners, life. Homeowners, life. I thought it was just life insurance. No, I think it was. And he that. chases, he races a bus, and he drinks some concoction, and he, oh, he also works out and puts soy sauce all over his body. When he uses the tanning bed. Yeah. So then, uh, something happens where he turns black. Into a Negro. African American. Why don't you say the other word they used no. way too often? No, thank you. Um, I think the answer to we've seen. I've seen this premise a thousand times before. It's a staple in many uh, TV shows and sitcoms. Like, I don't know if we've reviewed it yet, but there's a there's an episode of the Disney show Jesse, which does which handles this better. Yeah, it's. Not handled very well. Yeah, it's a combination. I can tell you right now, don't watch it. Yeah, it's a combination of dragged out and yet, or it feels both fast and slow at the same time because the ending makes no sense. Right. There's no resolution. It's just like, it's a bunch of setups and no conclusion. Uh, well, and the there's thing no, it was, there's no, that... there's almost no answers resolved. Uh, he doesn't really change back or at all, really. Yeah, his if, attitude and everything doesn't. If anything, he gets worse. Well, and the thing is... is Oh, yes, a master. I a do. It's okay. When he's portraying white... Well, then he's pretty he much even, talking like this. <laughs> he even makes jokes to his... The guy... The bus driver, the elevator man... The oh, gentleman at the at juice the bar. bar. I thought that was just a regular bar. No, I think it was at the juice bar. Those were big in 1970. Or coffee, I don't know. He got juice. He got this concoction, and yeah, he turns black, and... Um, he thinks it's the soy sauce when he's tanning. Yeah, and then there's a bunch of other things, like he... Well, he even goes to his doctor... Yeah, but that's later. I mean, he pretty much bathes in milk to try to turn whiter. Yeah, with voodoo. <laughs> yeah. Spells. Oh my god. Um, yeah. he. What else does he do? He uh, does he use bleach? No, he didn't use bleach. Well, but then he used all of this stuff. No, that... there's like that concrete thing that like fro that. That was hardened. like a mask. Okay. Uh, he goes to a drugstore, and then he buys he's, all this stuff. Then he's like. Oh my God! I'm I'm, I'm black. Blah, 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 blah. 
Yeah, he's pretending it's a nightmare. And then he's thinking that it's just some disease or some curse or something. Um, obviously, this is 1970, so they really have to hammer in racism. Yeah. Even though what was odd was that, yeah, there were, there were obviously some racism. Well, just what he had on the wall behind his desk. But it felt more like he was more racist about against himself almost he was almost more racist against himself than most of the people were because no one at his office really like treats him differently except this one girl yeah she's more fascinated in him yeah but no one treat no one really treats him differently they're like oh my gosh what happened to you and then they don't like they don't throw racial epithets they don't throw slurs um, but yet he's he's doing it yeah he's doing it and he's he's doing the thing of like oh i'm supposed to tap dance for you and even his even his boss who needs to see him every single morning of every single day he works there either he's a good employee or a bad employee and i'm not sure which what do you think is he a good employee or a bad employee then i think he was a good employee and he was sloughing off and then um his boss wanted him to be their official black spokesperson they yeah. even talked to the NAACP uh yeah um it just, he goes I to the doctor know. it's not hay fever it's not a any allergies ragweed or something yeah. No allergies, nothing with his liver, kidneys. And his doctor was trying to figure out, well, did you have this in your background of your family? Like, what's your name? Washington Jackson Eugene. No, I thought he said Johnson Washington. No, Eugene. I thought it was Eugene. No, his wife's name. Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Or something. Jefferson uh, Washington Gerber. Oh, wow. We were way... I was way off. Well, we had the Washington. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, if you want to see a better version of this movie, just watch A Thousand Words with Eddie Murphy. I know that's not a very popular thought, but at least... I never thought I would say this, but that movie's message was better than this movie that movie's message was about hey eddie murphy you're being you're being a jerk so be a nicer person and then he does become a nicer person in this it's like oh you're gonna be a bigot i'll make you black well even like the end even like trading places that was oh, yeah. more rich and poor but yeah like Um, if he went from a bigoted white guy, what if he went, I'm going to kind of pull a squirrel talk and see what would happen if he went from a bigoted white guy to a rich white guy. Would the premise really change all that much? I don't know. There's ways that this movie I'm sure could have been... I would say funnier, but that would imply that it was funny in the first place. Ooh, like, what if, what if it was revealed, like, or, what if after he became black, like, he thought, he was like, oh my god, I'm black, I'm black, I'm scared, I'm terrified. And then everyone around him was like, dude, yeah, you're black, we know that. So what? Yeah, it's like, get over yourself. And so... Like, maybe, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of ways that this movie could have worked. Uh, an ending might have worked? Yeah, he got a phone call from his wife. Yeah, can we just spoil the ending? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, he does karate with, uh, um... Broomsticks and mops. No, not a rake. He does karate with a rake, he does... No, it was mop without the head. I thought it was like a, it was like a long thing like that. No, it was short. But then it, it ends with him going, Yeah! Oh. The end. Yeah, he was getting his exercise at night. Yeah. Um. I thought he was going to learn how to protect himself. 
I thought it was going to end with him becoming white and then realizing, wow, uh, black people have a long... Black people... Have it rough. Yeah. In the 60s. This was in the 70s. Or 70s. Well, black people still can have it rough. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I'm not even going to pretend like I could... Like I know what... Spin this well. <laughs> The... Oh, no, just just be honest and say... Okay, this movie committed a few cardinal sins for me. One, the message was, I mean, you could have you could have injected me with an IV fluid bag and that would have that would have been less obvious Stop than it. the message. Stop it. It was just whoever thought this up and for those actors and actresses to be in it, that just really i don't know i thought some of the people at his office were okay because they didn't really react extremely to it they were like oh my well, gosh but then they started no yeah i thought so not really no it was really his boss and that one female employee but he was a harasser to that female employee so he kind of had it coming yeah maybe if he, yeah basically he becomes black and he doesn't learn anything no. He doesn't really change much. If you want, you could say that he starts to change, but nothing really happens when he does change. So it's like, and he doesn't really change. Um, the makeup is terrible at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And the wig. Yeah, you could really tell it was uh, a black person portraying a white. To give you an example... Uh, people out there, when Dave Chappelle was in Whiteface on the Chappelle Show, that it? looked more realistic. White chicks. Well, yeah, white chicks. White, ch <laughs> white chicks is, I don't know, uh, Tropic Thunder compared to this. No, see, white chicks. White chicks, that, that movie is funnier. Yeah, anyway... You, you at least have Terry. Let's, let's, you you at least have Terry Crews on, being hilarious. This up. Anyway, what a way to wrap up Black History Month, February. Join us next time when we take a look at the third movie in a trilogy. That will hopefully be a little funnier. Okay, I'm hoping. I'm Roller Coaster Writer. Hi, I'm Kay. Bye. You already said hi. Okay, bye.